Hello everyone. Today I'm doing a different topic. This is a little bit of an interesting thing I want to cover. I'm going to say, say it that way. but Yes, the name of the video is entirely correct and that is how to stop the annoying Windows updates. I'm being specific, I know it's not proper English, but in this situation I'm a little bit annoyed uh, because this morning when I put my computer on, I wanted to order the ticket today. I, I want to see The Incredibles too, right? So I turn on my computer and guess what Windows decides to do for a whole hour? That's right. It messes up my computer. It claims that this is an April 2018 update. I thought I turned off the updates. Well, apparently, I don't know how it happened. I must have done something when I wanted to download a Windows 10 app. And uh, honestly, I don't really use the only Windows 10 apps I use are maybe Spotify, iHeartRadio. That's it. I don't even use TuneIn. I use iTunes to get some stations now. iTunes uh, over here, as you can see. My Yankees background is gone. You know what? I could care less about that. Preferably, I like the Windows 7 background, which many of you know. I still think that's the best Windows ever made. And I don't want to. I don't want to have a debate about OSs today, please. I mean, I know. I still miss Windows 7, alright? You want the truth, I still miss it. But This computer was specifically built for Windows 10, so I'm not just going to downgrade this to Windows 7. But yes, today I'm going to show you how to get rid of those annoying Windows updates. Now, I can't help you on Windows XP because, quite frankly, uh, even though I rant and rave about my old computer downstairs that I only use for work now because... It's a piece of junk in my family's basement. I'm not going to be able to help you because I'm helping my dad, believe it or not, upgrade to Windows 10 next month. So, that's not the point. The point is, this is going to help you for Windows 7, Windows 8, 8.1, and definitely Windows 10. It'll be the same thing for Windows 7 when you look for your search. So, what you're going to do is you're going to hit S-E-R... V I C S. See it right here? See where my arrow is? You're going to click on that. So I'm going to make this whole lot bigger so you can see what I'm talking about. And since I updated my computer, I'm noticing the fan's going crazy. See, why is my fan going crazy? I'm going to have to fix that later on. But see here? Windows Update. You're going to go to Stop if it's running. But more importantly, you're going to click on Properties. And more importantly, make sure it says Disabled. Make sure it says Disabled. Then, you're going to hit Apply. And, voila! It's Disabled. And I've done this on my Windows 7 computer as well. And for that reason, because I don't really need Windows 7 updates. In fact, I rarely even use my old computer anymore. I think that's why it runs so well, because I literally started off with a fresh OS when I downgraded it from Windows 10 to Windows 7, and my computer loved me for doing that with only 3 gigabytes of RAM. I have 8 gigabytes of RAM on this thing, if anybody was curious. So, that concludes this interesting tutorial if you want to call it that because I basically ran on a little bit of a rant to you know because I, li I like being personal with you guys in a way you know some stuff I can only do on Periscope but in this situation for my YouTube audience I want you all to understand that I don't want any of you being held by Windows alright they're literally they're literally manipulating you and I'm sorry for saying that but you don't want to have your work being interrupted one minute and then the next minute, oh, hi, we're Windows. We're just going to take over your computer for an hour and not let you work on any 
uh, YouTube videos or uh, work on Microsoft Office documents. No, I don't want to be held hostage. I'm going to be doing the same thing with my dad's computer. As soon as he gets it, that's the first thing I'm doing is turning off the updates because I don't want my dad getting annoyed that he could be working and all of a sudden, boom, he doesn't have a computer for a whole hour. So, yeah, that's where I'm going to end this. Thank you for watching. And until next time, take care.